Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. This girl is age 42, doctors don't want you to see her secret to staying young. At first glance, you might think that she's a college student. False. Laura Shu is about to be 42 years old. Her secret to staying young is very simple and it is shocking thousands of people. Laura is an interior designer that was noticed by the public because of her sister Sharon HSU. Sharon is 35 and an actress. She was invited to an entertainment show in 2015. In the same year, Sharon shared a post on Facebook to celebrate Laura's 40th birthday. Her fans were absolutely shocked. After your skin is tanned, it will become dry. Freckles and small wrinkles would appear, Laura told the magazine. Now you know how to keep healthy like Laura Shu. Thanks for reading and have a wonderful day and stay healthy out there. What this Houston pastor admitted about Trump is shocking Americans like an adrenaline shot. We all know that Trump is a very compassionate guy. He works his butt off to make this country great again. The pastor absolutely loved Trump, according to Fox News. Everything in Houston has been just very dramatic, a lot of emotional struggles, the pastor Ken Gurley of Houston's First Church of Perilyn told Fox and Friends on Sunday. To have the president, first lady, and others come, it was just a joy and it was like a shot of adrenaline. The first couple of victims helped serve a meal at the storm shelter on Saturday during their visit to Houston and got to take pictures with people there. People loved him. That's because he's a great president. To have the president, first lady, and others come, it was just a joy and it was like a shot of adrenaline, said the pastor. The couple met with their victims and helped serve a meal at a storm shelter on Saturday on their second visit to the storm tour in Houston. Gurley said that the president was very engaged and very compassionate. He acted like an old pro at it when helping deliver goods. The media won't show this. Share this everywhere and be proud that we have such a blessed president. Midday massacre Trump just made massive threat to anyone who helps North Korea. So by now most of y'all have probably heard that last night North Korea detonated their new hydrogen bomb. This nasty new weapon is 10x more powerful than their old one and is clearly a threat. Well, unlike Obama, Trump takes threats very seriously. The second he saw what was going on, he made a huge action that Kim Jong-un is sure to feel. Trump threatened to stop all trade with any country who trades with North Korea. The president shot out a pair of tweets this morning that were very clearly directed at Kim and his regime. I will be meeting General Kelly, General Mattis and other military leaders at the White House to discuss North Korea. Thank you. The United States is considering, in addition to other options, stopping all trade with any country doing business with North Korea. Now it's very important to note that this is also a very direct threat to China, who accounts for 85% of North Korea's trade. While Trump's detractors are claiming we need China, who accounted for $600 billion last year, the threat is actually a brilliant strategy. His attacks against the rogue state did not stop there, however. Hayes tweets also called out South Korea for appeasement of the North and China for embarrassing themselves by association. Some people may be upset over Trump's tough talk on North Korea and their allies. Well, I tell him too bad. Our old attempts clearly failed or else they wouldn't have nukes. Share this out if you think Trump's trade threat is smart and Congress should fall in line. What Trump did this Sunday for Harvey victims will make journalists freak out. Donald Trump never stops moving. His stamina is utterly amazing, for a man of his maturity. This morning, he and Melania arose, went to church, and prayed for all the people who have been so deeply affected by Hurricane Harvey. Friday, Trump had declared this to be a national day of prayer for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Can you imagine what all that prayer is going to do? If we all lift every victim of the natural tragedy up in prayer, amazing things will happen. Watch as Trump sits among religious leaders, along with Mike Pence, announcing this miracle bringing National Day of Prayer. Trump said, We invite all Americans to join us as we continue to pray for those who have lost family members or friends, and for those who are suffering in this time of crisis. Most recently, the number who died related to Hurricane Harvey has climbed to 50.
please pray for their families and friends. On Saturday, when he and Melania were back in Texas, he encouraged everyone by saying, Tomorrow's a very big day, so go to your church and pray and enjoy the day. The weather has cleared up there and he just wanted them to feel encouraged and able to enjoy being alive, even amid the devastation. I hope you will join in this day of prayer, and lift your fellow Americans who have been so terribly affected, up. Let's bring some miracles. H. T. The Hill John McCain just flew to Europe to stab Trump in the back. Look what he did. John McCain took time off from his cancer treatments this week to fly out to Italy to trash President Trump. This is disgusting behavior. Especially after Trump wished him well in his recovery. Hard as people might try, there's no reason to keep trashing Republicans. Ben Sass, Jeff Flake, and Lindsey Graham are working hard to change just that. According to the Washington Examiner, Senator John McCain, Oz said that America is very committed to traditional alliances and values. He then said despite the doubts about the United States because of the actions and statements of our president. McCain said in remarks Saturday at the Ambrosetti Forum. He said that he came to Italy at a time when many are questioning whether America is still committed to remaining engaged in the world, to upholding our traditional alliances and standing up for the values we share. It is true that there is a real debate underway now in my country about what kind of role America should play in the world, McCain said. And frankly, I do not know how this debate will play out. This guy is undergoing cancer and has the time to say the dirtiest thing about our president. Remember the awful moment that McCain joined the Democratic Party? Our legislature is not Republican or Democrat. It is a UNI party body. John McCain showed that. They aren't on the side of the American people. Share this if you are tired of John McCain. This guy is making it his mission to hurt Trump. It's very sad. Americans need to see the nasty thing that these politicians are saying about our president. Kill shot right after the media attacked him, Ben Carson just went off in the best way possible. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Dr. Ben Carson is a reserved man, but he is also a man who will always stand up for what's right. On Wednesday New York Magazine issued a report saying that asked whether there was anyone home at HUD saying Carson's department was empty and quoting an anonymous source that said Carson was unqualified and not respected as a leader. Carson put the magazine on blast in an interview on Fox News special report with Brett Bayer, saying, I would say that you should ring the doorbell before you conclude that nobody's at home. I don't think they did a very good job at journalistic investigation there. He commented on Trump's proposed 15% budget cut for HUD saying that he has already helped save money in the department through reorganization and increased efficiency. Do recognize with some of the reorganization that we've done already, we've realized some tremendous savings. This is a concept that is foreign to a lot of people in Washington, the whole concept of efficiency and saving. Whoa! A government official who is finally sticking up for American taxpayers and trying to run an efficient operation. I never thought I'd see the day. Carson continued saying even long-term bureaucrats are going to be a part of the reorganization. So we are actually reimagining the way the HUD works right now from the bottom up, including the vision of the people who have been there 10, 20, 30, 40 years, rather than just imposing things upon them. President Trump has picked some awesome people for his team, and Ben Carson is easily one of the best. He's helping the government cut down on waste, putting the media in its place, and doing it all the grace and class. Love Ben Carson? Give him a share. H. T. The Hill Madonna finally leaves America after threatening Trump, look where she's going. Madonna thrives on being weird. This Saturday, Madonna showed all her fans a major announcement on her two posts on Instagram. The 59-year-old Trump-hating maniac is officially moving to Portugal. She is apparently working on a movie and making some new music. Here is the image she posted of her standing over two tree stumps with her legs spread open over a boat sailing through it. Legs open is a posture that Madonna most likely assumes often. She then revealed the following three announcements. The energy of Portugal is so inspiring. I feel very creative and alive here and I look forward to working on my film Loved and making new music. Comma began Madonna. This will be the next chapter in my book. It's time to conquer the world from a different vantage point, she wrote. Madonna said that she made the move to Europe because of her mental health. That sound accurate. 
I used to be a basket case but now I live in Lisbon, she said. According to the AP, her spokesperson said that the singer said she fell in love with the country after ending a tour there in 2004. Madonna is currently directing a movie called Loved. This is a perfect title. Because nobody in America loves Madonna. I've always felt depressed. I know a lot of people would go, oh, that's ridiculous for you to say that. You're a successful white, wealthy pop star, but I've had the S kicked out of me for my entire career, and a large part of that is because I'm female and also because I refuse to live a conventional life. I've created a very unconventional family. I have lovers who are three decades younger than me. This makes people very uncomfortable. Remember what Madonna said about blowing up the White House? Watch that below. Let's hope that Madonna stays in Portugal. Share this everywhere if you hope she doesn't ever come back.